Hello, and welcome to How Can I Make Music with Neil Paddock, featuring me. Um, today we're going to be looking at guitar and simulators, and there's a whole bunch of these to choose from. I just thought it'd be good to start with the page on my site, Guitar Amp Sims, free downloads. And um, I suspect there's a lot of you out there who are going to be able to handle this very easily indeed. But I thought I'd just go through the process of downloading one of the... Uh, pieces of software and installing it. So let's see how we get on. So the first on my list on this page, Guitar Amp Sims, is uh, Amplification Light by Cure Asa. And I'm going to click on the link and it takes me to a download page. Fair enough. Um, it's already been downloaded 3,694 times as that September 2012. So let's go to the download section now. There's a whole bunch of uh, downloads. Let's scroll down to the one we want, which is the light version. So if we, we pop down here, uh, we want the freebies. I always like the freebie section. And this one here, Amplification Light Windows VST. I'm going to click on that. And there we go. Um, so I'm going to save the file. Now it shouldn't actually take very long to do this. And uh, what we should be able to do now is double click on the file to open it up. And in there is a single little file with .dll on the end. So that's our plugin. So this is like a VST instrument, a virtual instrument, but it's an amp instead of being a guitar or some such thing. So um, I want to be able to drag that off. In fact, I'm going to click copy I think let's try that I'm going to try copy and then I want to go to my desktop and I've got a shortcut to VST plugins here and I'm probably going to want to create a new folder actually so let's create a new folder to bung it in if it will let me And I like to call the things um, something so I can find them again. So this is arguably amplification or QASA, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, QASA. Um, let's just do that for the time being. Vista's a bit clunky. It's always asking you to, you know, do you really want to do this? So there's our um, folder. I click on that and do paste. Game. It's asking for permission to move it, blah, 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 blah. Hooray. So now we have amplification light in there. And actually thinking about it, I'm probably going to call that. I'm going to call that amplification light so that I can find it again later. Amplification light. Uh, actually, it's spelled with a K, so let's do that as well. Oh, here we go. We need to confirm that operation again. Let's hope it will let me do it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I got an error message because it's still remembering the old one, even though I've renamed it. Right, so we've got our download. Um, oh, three minutes already. Let's very quickly go into Reaper and set something up. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because in the interest of time, I don't want these videos to be too long. So when this finally loads up, I want to just be able to demonstrate to you that we can grab a MIDI file, ostensibly of a guitar, plug it through this amplifier and hear a difference. So uh, let's give that a go. You can see Reaper's actually scanning it. So it's found the new VST. Notice this is called a VST rather than a VSTI, which is what they tend to call the instruments. Here we go. Now, what I'm probably going to do, mm, actually I'm going to use this track, that's handy. So what I did earlier on, I kind of cheated a little bit. I basically opened a track in Reaper, which I'll probably do a lot in these videos. So you just uh, track, insert a new track, I've already done it. Click on the little effects button, which is down here. Um, add the SI bass guitar. I'm just going to mute the first track, or actually solo the second to be precise. 
Here we go. So if I make sure that's at the beginning, can we hear it? We should be able to, I can hear absolutely nothing. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this actually. I've set this up to play in a loop, so I'm hoping you can hear the MIDI loop as I talk. And uh, a couple of ways we do it. Let's do it the first way, is literally just add it in this window here. So we're going to add, like adding another instrument into this panel. And uh, amplific. There we go. Found it. So I've typed amplific into my filter list. Hit OK. In it goes. Now, I don't know at the moment whether this thing has got any kind of uh, presets. It doesn't look like it. So what I'm going to do is try and turn it up a bit and then untick that. And when I tick that box, you should hear a difference. Well, not much of a difference at this point because I think that, that seems to be working okay so we're getting slight differences in tone it would have been nice if I could have shown you some something a bit more definite let's, let's shut them up a minute right so that's pretty much it well we're nearly seven minutes already so what did we do we downloaded Cure Asa which I could say it properly um, we've stuck it next to the bass guitar that already had a track allocated to it and a MIDI file of a walking bass line on and we've literally just added it to the same track. Now, there's another way we could do this if I just highlight that and remove it. Don't know whether this actually makes a huge amount of difference, but we can add it as an effect, as an input effect here. So, same kind of deal. It opens up a little window. And this time I'll drag it in. I could have done that the first time. Dragging or double clicking will do the same thing. And now, when I press the button, it's pretty much we should hear it the same as last time, except for the fact I've got to... Can we hear any difference? It's not that obvious to me, actually, to be honest. I'm not convinced that that's working or as effective uh, as it was as bunging them both on the same channel, like we did the first time. Anyway, that's in theory how it works. So I would go back to doing it the old way, to be honest. I preferred it when it was on here. So we'll just drag it in there instead underneath and at least we can hear it then. So that's all from me for now, Neil Paddock, howcanimakemusic.com. It's been a pleasure talking to you on this video. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Until then, bye for now.